everybody and welcome back to another virtual science short. My name is Miss Kaylee and today we are going to be doing an activity called squishy circuits. Now you may be thinking, what is a squishy circuit? Let me tell you, a squishy circuit is going to be a loop of electricity that is going through Play-Doh. So the Play-Doh in this activity is going to be our conductor of electricity. Let's go ahead and get started so you can see what I'm talking about. Now for our squishy circuits we will need a couple of materials. We will need our Play-Doh, a battery, our LED lights, and our alligator clips. First, you're gonna wanna start off by taking out your Play-Doh, splitting it in half, and making two balls out of them. There I have one, and two. Perfect. Now, you will wanna take your alligator clips and expose the clip part down at the end and then stick that into your Play-Doh. You'll want one alligator clip per Play-Doh ball. So here is my second one in the Play-Doh. All right, perfect. And now with our battery, when you look at your battery, you can see the negative side will have the negative and then that is going to be the hexagon shape and then on the other side is our positive side, and that's going to be the circular one. So, for one of our alligator clips, we're going to clip it onto the negative side. And then for the other, you're gonna clip it onto the positive side. It doesn't matter which alligator clip or which Play-Doh ball you put onto the positive or negative side, you just wanna remember that for when we have our LED lights. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and take out one of the LEDs. And so when you look at it, you can see one of the sides is a little bit longer than the other. This is going to be your positive side, so the longer one is positive. I'm just going to spread it apart into a V shape, and then I'm going to put my positive side on the positive side of the battery with the alligator clip, and the negative side to the negative alligator clip. And then you can see when it is touching both of the Play-Doh balls, then the light will come on. Now, it's okay if it doesn't work at first. If you put it into the Play-Doh balls and the light doesn't turn on, that just means that you need to flip it around so that now we have our light. Now, there are a couple cool things that you can do once you get the basic setup of your circuit going. I'm gonna take another LED light and you can add in more so you can do multiple lights. Do one more in there. So now I have three different LEDs attached to my Play-Doh circuit. You could also take out all of them and add more Play-Doh balls to your circuit. So I'm just gonna take out my alligator clips here and mash back up my Play-Doh and then make, let's do three Play-Doh balls, or actually let's do four. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, put the alligator clip into this side, the other over here. Now it doesn't matter if the Play-Doh balls are different shapes or sizes, it is still going to work as long as the LEDs are connecting them all together. So now I'm gonna go ahead, remember positive side to the positive alligator clip, and we are going to do it just like that. So it might take a little bit of trial and error just to get the LEDs all set up right, but eventually, once you get it all working, you will have a circuit. So you can see now the lights aren't as bright as they were when it was just the two. That's because the electricity is being shared between a longer circuit, but you can still see that they are lighting up. If I were to take out the green one in the middle, then it's breaking the circuit and it no longer works. But as long as they are all touching, then it will still work. 
You can experiment with this in a lot of different ways, create your own circuits, your own color patterns, and all these other neat things. Thank you all so much for joining us. If you try to make your own squishy circuit at home, please make sure you tag us in your photos. We would love to check out what you are up to. Make sure you stay tuned to our social media channels for more updates on the science centers and more virtual science shorts. Thank you all so much for joining us and we'll see you again next time. Bye.